Hi, my name is Dr. Nagib Omar, your career coach. We have about eight days before the closure or the deadline of the first revision application for 2021 KCSE candidates. Uh, therefore, I thought of doing a very simple video on one important aspect of uh, the revision application, which is the cluster points. Now, there are two or three things that we need to understand about the cluster points. The cluster points are aggregate points that are generated from the subjects that the candidates have done. So basically, we have candidates who have done minimum seven subjects and maximum of eight subjects. So for any course that you need to do at the university, you require a combination of at least four uh, subject clusters. That means four subjects with an aggregate of 12 points. So for each subject, you need to attain 12 points. For four subjects to pursue any course, you need an average or an aggregate maximum cluster points of 48. So that is why when you look at the portal, you will see that you have the cluster uh, groups, the different groups, and this year they have reduced from 22 cluster groups to 20 groups. So we have about 20 cluster groups uh, from which you can select from. Now, you will see there are certain groups with 000. zero, zero. That means you don't qualify. You don't have any combination to pursue uh, any course in that particular group. Now, the most important aspect to know about the cluster points is that these points are the guiding factors. They are the ones that guides you to apply or to make your revision application, to select that course that you want, to select the university that you want to go to. Remember, different universities may have different requirements for the cluster points, uh, depending on various reasons. Uh, we have reputable universities that have been there or they are known for certain courses, so basically they will require high cluster points uh, for those courses in their universities. So very important when you do the first revision application, look at the cluster points. How many points do you have? How many points or cluster points do they want you? So how do you know that you qualify or you don't qualify? A simple strategy that I use is that I look at the previous uh, cluster points for admitting the students into uh, these courses. Like for instance, if we are looking at uh, University of Nairobi or any other university, uh, admitting medical or medicine uh, students. So what you can do, look at the previous uh, year's cluster points. You will see that at times they keep on fluctuating. So depending on the performance of the students, it may go up, it may go down. So the guiding factor is the previous cluster points. So if a course you want to pursue, whether it's medicine, architecture or any other course, they require certain cluster points, like for instance, those who wish to pursue medicine. I'll just give as an example. The previous cluster points you'll see it's 45, 43, 44, thereabouts. So what happens? You need to select uh, that course that is within or you have higher cluster points than the previously admitted uh, students into these particular programs. So those, or that is the strategy that I personally use, that will guarantee a placement. So number one is to select a cluster point that is equivalent or equal to what you have. Then number two, you need to select, like you have four choices, you have one, two, three, and four. So select uh, the highest cluster points in number one then gradually decreasing in that order so that if you miss the first one then you have a chance of going to the second uh, placement standing a chance to be admitted if not then the third and finally you have the last uh, slot where you can uh, easily be uh, admitted to. So it's very important that you understand what clusters you have and the courses that you want to pursue with the minimum uh, requirement. Now, it's very important that you need to understand that you may qualify because the entry or the minimum subjects shows their 
that it is C plus for every uh, course, but then because of competitive reasons, you may not be able to qualify. You may not be able to be uh, taken for these particular courses. So it's very important that you select a course depending on the cluster points that you have. That is uh, what will guarantee you a placement at the university. So having said that, please uh, check my next videos that I will, go, uh, I will be able to release in the next uh, uh, few days. Thank you and I wish you all the best.